How's it going, everybody? Or should I say, how's it ghouling everybody? Because I look like a ghost. My lighting is entirely dependent on this one ginormous window I'm sitting in front of. <laughs> so, so we'll see how reliable this stays. Based on my last Boongo Stray Dogs and Food Wars videos, I'm gonna say not very. But we got a solstice to get to, so as long as you guys can see me, well, that's good enough for me. And if you can see me, make sure you leave a like and comment on this video below. That's right, that's the only requirement. If you can visibly see me right now, I've earned a like. Now let's get into it. Hey, what is that? It's like a scar. Okay, just a casual, bone-chilling line from Sokka. Sokka's over here already about to write his memoir about how the war has affected him. Aang, are you okay? Fire Nation! Those evil savages make me sick! They have no respect for- Shh. It's wild that Aang comes out of the ice like, what do you mean the Fire Nation's bad? I know lots of good firebenders. And then the world just beats Aang with one atrocity after another. Aang can't turn 90 degrees without accidentally bumping into a war crime. It's time to leave! Where are you? Uncle Iroh! Over here. Uncle? Oh, Iroh do be soaking though. I like how they have this big dumpling of a man walking around to offset the horrors of war. You look tired, Prince Zuko. Why don't you join me in these hot springs and soak away your troubles? Yeah, take a soak, coward! Get out of the water! Very well. On second thought, why don't you take another few minutes? But be back at the ship in half an hour, or I'm leaving without you! Iroh said, you better let the dragon of the west soak unless you want me whipping out the dragon of the south! That means the forest will grow back. Every one of these will be a tall oak tree someday, and all the birds and animals that lived here will come back. Yeah, unless Momo eats them all! I know you're a Fire Nation spy, you nutsucking bastard. Also, just like another spectacular scene. Like all of it. I love how the Fire Nation destroying this plot of land is like almost as devastating to Aang as them wiping out his nation. And ready? You ready for this acorn to absolutely blow your mind? Katara gives Aang an acorn to show him that the earth will heal itself through its cyclical nature. The acorn will turn into a tree, which turns into a forest, which brings back the animals and restores harmony to the earth. Which not only makes Aang feel better about the damage done to the land, but also makes him feel better about his duty as the Avatar. The weight of being the Avatar is already weighing on Aang. He feels responsible for what happened to the land. It sucks. He hates it. Aang's the goddamn acorn. It's okay that he isn't ready to bring harmony to the world, just like it's okay that this acorn isn't ready to bring harmony to the forest. The acorn needs to grow. The earth needs time to heal from what was done to it. Just like acorns, the Avatar is nature's way of restoring harmony to itself through cyclical means. We get all of that depth and all Katara did was hand him a nut. So the rumors of your return are true. It is the greatest honor of a lifetime to be in your presence. Nice to meet you too. Nice, stay humble, Aang. A spirit monster comes and attacks our village. He is Heibai, the black and white spirit. What's going on? I don't remember any of this. This is so ominous and so serious and not a word that came out of that guy's mouth is ringing any bells for me. You are the great bridge between man and spirits. Right, that's me. Hey, great bridge guy. Can I talk to you over here for a second? Hey, Katara. Aang's under enough pressure without you condescendingly calling him great bridge guy. Let's bring back that acorn energy and show a little support here. <sighs> Did nobody come back for Iroh? Zuko said, Uncle, we must leave. And Iroh said, Bitch, I am T! <laughs> Wait, you thought you could just become a Jasmine T without any consequences? There are always consequences when it comes to T. But also, did we really need to have a jagged spike shooting up every hole the man's got? <laughs> Excuse me? You must be the Heibai spirit. My name is... Excuse me? What is this, Bleach? Why is Aang about to fight a hollow? Why does it breathe pure concentrated fear? Heibai, over here! Shaka, go back! We'll fight him together, Aang. Oh, that's sweet. Look at Sokka and Aang finally starting to bond. Go back! We'll fight him together, Aang. I don't want to fight him unless I- Sokka's dead! Something's not right here. 
that pile of rocks. It looks like there's been a landslide, sir. Land doesn't slide uphill. Yo, bring that guy in for questioning. Who is this Fire Nation soldier over here giving Earth the benefit of the doubt? You're at war with people who can move rocks with their minds, and this dude's just like, guess it was an accident. <laughs> Sokka's dead? I was joking last time, but I think he may technically now be dead. Look at Iroh all curled up here like a hard-boiled egg waiting to get spanked. Iroh looks like a Russian nesting doll that got way too into BDSM. I would be shocked if the Avatar returned without him. Katara? Katara, I lost him. Oh. Never mind, I guess your brother is dead. Great timing, Aang. What am I supposed to do? Avatar Roku, how can I talk to you? Yeah, Avatar Roku never really responds to me either. That's why I switched to Avatar Fire Stick. Zing! <laughs> Avatar Roku's animal guide. Can you believe Korra gets a polar bear dog and Roku gets a fucking dragon? Kyoshi didn't even get a pet. What is this sexist nonsense? By the way, for all of those super not sensitive people who got upset when I talked about Sokka's sexism arc, don't worry, I'm joking. <laughs> What's the problem? Oh my god, what? Iroh can see spirits? That's like not even something I forgot. I'm pretty sure that's just knowledge I never had. That's crazy. Does that ever come up again? <laughs> that was ruthless. Iroh said, you fuck with T, you're gonna get burned, bitch. These dangerous hands must be crushed. <laughs> What? Okay, look. Good idea, completely fair. Iroh did just solder that man's hands to his shackles. But imagine if this worked and Iroh just went the rest of the show with no hands. <laughs> Zuko just kicked a boulder out of the sky and then shattered iron with his silly little elf slippers. Are we positive Zuko is not also an earthbender? It's five against two. You're clearly outnumbered. That's true, but you are clearly outmatched. Oh damn, all right, work it, bitch! Look at Iroh being the chubby little sex icon we all know and love. <laughs> what is that hat made of? <laughs> Why are we letting Tim Burton design Avatar spirits now? Also, what is it breathing? Is it breathing souls? Because that's horrific. When I saw the forest had burned, I was sad and upset. But my friend gave me hope that the forest would grow back. Oh, and the acorn saves the day. Brief episode transition. If you guys like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get access to tons of exclusive content, such as reaction videos not found on YouTube, access to my own private Discord server, and recordings of all of the Pokemon live streams I've done in the past and will do in the future. On top of that, you'll be helping out the channel immensely, especially in these very confusing times where we may not be allowed to swear anymore. I know I've been swearing a lot in this video, I'm kind of foolishly testing the waters to see, to see how much I can do. Apparently YouTube's been demonetizing videos like it's nobody's business for swearing. <laughs> so, so we'll see. But if Patreon's not really your thing and you still want more content, make sure you check out my second channel, Honestly Brutal. There I upload analysis videos of video games and movies that are still comedy, but not reactions, so they don't really fit here. The links to my Patreon and second channel will be in the description below, so make sure you check those out if you're interested. And now, on to the next one. You'll have to fly fast to have any chance of making it before sundown. Good luck. Thank you for your- Go! Get out of here! Go! Scram! What's the matter with you? <sighs> huh? Having trouble sleeping? <laughs> How am I supposed to be intimidated when you got Iroh all cheeked up on a lizard in the background there? Uh, really, Prince Zuko? Couldn't you shoot them down with something more fragrant? These are unhelpful comments, Iroh. Launch! Ah! 
I like how they all just close their eyes like, all right, Appa, now it's your time to shine. Don't kill us. <laughs> Oh my god, what? Grab Sokka! Bend the air, Aang! He's falling impossibly slow! <laughs> so the war is over, right? Aang just won? Aang did a spinning heel kick at a cannonball, and the cannonball lost! Explain that to the Fire Lord, and I promise you he'll call off the attack! Also, Aang was going so hard in season one. Between this and him using a tornado against Boomy, I don't think Aang ever does anything this cool in the later seasons. The fight with Fire Lord Ozai is dope, but that kick went pretty hard. You did it, buddy. Nice flying. Oh, you must be tired. No! What is Appa's stomach, though? Are these scales? Because he does have six legs. It's not unlikely that Appa is part bug. Guardians of the Temple of the Avatar. Great! I am the Avatar. We know. Quit telling strangers you're the Avatar! Nobody likes you, Aang! Nobody wants you alive! <laughs> I don't want to fight you. I am a friend. Except for this guy. This guy's all right. But he never came. They were waiting for me. Hey, don't feel bad. You're only a hundred years late. Read the cave, Sokka. Once you're inside, wait for the light to hit Avatar Roku's statue. Only then will you be able to speak with him. What are all these hoops Aang has to jump through to talk to Roku? I'm pretty sure later in the series, Aang could just hit up past avatars if he's bored enough. Later, Kiyoshi shows up just to get Aang out of court. This is a little trick I picked up from my father. I seal the lamp oil inside an animal skin casing. Shayu lights the oil-soaked twine and ta-da! Oh, I remember being 12. My dad would come home from a long day of work, toss the old baseball around with me in the backyard, and teach me how to make bombs. Sokka, you're a genius! Wait, how is Sokka a genius? His plan didn't even work. Yeah, Katara, what are you, stupid? His dumbass idiot plan didn't even work! You're right. Sokka's plan didn't work. But it looks like it did. Did the definition of genius change in the last hundred years? Lay off, I'm pretty sure she has a plan. Katara, you say one more stupid thing, and I'm gonna suck the breath right out of your goddamn lungs. The Avatar's coming with me. I didn't realize we were dealing with breakdancing, monks. These guys know how to throw down. It's good to see you, Aang. What took you so long? Super not the time, Roku. You must defeat the Fire Lord before the comet arrives. But I haven't even started learning waterbending, not to mention earth and fire. Oh god, you haven't? Then we're dead. We're all dead, Aang. Those doors open. Unleash all your firepower. How's Aang gonna make it out of this? How are we gonna make it out of this? Oh my god, nobody is putting up with Katara today. How will I talk to you? I am a part of you. When you need to talk to me again, you will find a way. That means I don't know. But who cares? Because I cannot stress enough, we are all screwed. Hey! Fire! Nice, I like how Roku's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of this one. Don't even worry about it. How do you melt the chains without turning Sokka and Katara into skeletons? I'd love if Roku accidentally incinerated them and was just like, Oh, whoops, too far! Well, glad they weren't my friends. <laughs> oh, nice lava bending, Roku! Get ready for everyone to think that's a fire bending move for the next five seasons of this franchise. And that is episodes seven and eight of Avatar The Last Airbender. Great stuff, as always. Real lore-heavy stuff going on. It always is funny to me that Roku is Aang's predecessor. And it makes sense, and Roku is, like, very well-developed as a character. But it's just funny be because Kiyoshi is always, like, the past avatar that people like to pull from. And for good reason, Kiyoshi's sick. But anytime there's, like, a Roku episode, I'm like, Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> this guy happened 
and also kind of cost the war. But yeah, Aang's a little more in tune with his past avatars now, which is very exciting. And we are barreling our way towards the North Pole. Once again, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like and leave a comment. And if you want some other content, make sure you check out my second channel, Honestly Brutal. And I will see you guys next time.